If you sell anything on the internet and you're not prepared for this, you're going to lose massive amounts of money. In this video, we're gonna go over SCA, what it is. You might have been receiving emails about it. It's gonna affect anyone that sells anything on the internet to customers in the EU. It could have a huge impact if you're not ready and prepared and updated for this because their credit cards are gonna get declined automatically. So you wanna make sure that you know what this is and you've taken the steps necessary to prevent this from causing disruptions in your e-commerce store, whether you're selling products, online courses, anything. This is important information. If you wanna stay up to date with stuff like this, consider clicking on the subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos like this go up. Okay, this is it right here. So what SCA is, I'm actually pulling the information off of Stripe's website. Uh, you could actually do any kind of searching to do a little bit of research on what SCA is, but it's a new regulation that goes into effect September 15th, 2019, and it stands for Secure Customer authentication, sorry, strong customer authentication. Okay, so that's what SCA stands for and it's an additional step that most likely will happen for your customers when they try to purchase anything on your website. Now, here's the kicker. If you're using any systems or payment gateways that are not prepared for this or if you're not keeping your payment gateways updated to have the updated version of it that will work with SCA, those customers that try to purchase from you are going to get declined most likely are going to get declined and this goes into effect very soon so essentially what this is going to do is introduce an additional step for most people when they buy from your store so there are a few exclusions if you are selling a product or whatever the total ticket uh the total amount of the order is under 30 euros maybe most likely they're not going to have this extra step that they're going to have to go through. If it's over, they will have to. And if they make multiple orders under that $30 threshold at a certain point, they are saying five, they're going to get prompted for this extra step. So here is kind of information about it right here. And this right here is gonna give you sort of a visual, we're gonna go through it in this video, we're gonna actually see what it looks like. Uh, but this is a visual of what's going to happen. So what's gonna happen is when someone from the EU tries to make a purchase on your store, and then they click on that order button, they're gonna get a prompt, and it's gonna ask them to verify their identity one of three ways. So the three ways are something you know, which could be a password, something you have, which could be having to pull out your phone and go into your banking app to approve the charge, and then it will automatically go through, or something about who you are, which means a fingerprint. And so, uh, for example, Apple Pay will not have this issue because Apple Pay is based upon a fingerprint um, when you're using taking Apple Pay on a Mac computer. Okay, so uh, here, let me do a quick replay. So, customer puts in their credit card information as normal they click on the buy button they're going to get this prompt and then they will they show right here the mobile app popping up a push notification going to a mobile phone they tap on it approve the charge and then it goes through it's kind of a pain right but it's actually good it's going to reduce fraud and i wouldn't be surprised if more things like this go into effect now there's a bunch of other technical jargon about it right here so what ends up happening is there's a, an assessment that takes place whether or not this may be fraud and so some charges very few of them they might just not have this prompt okay so uh anyways let's go ahead and test this with stripe so stripe if you're using Stripe, they give you an ability to put your gateway into test mode. And when you come to this page right here, I'll put a link down below to it. And you scroll down, they give you numbers that you can use in test mode that will have certain outcomes. 
So one that will decline, one that will be approved, MasterCard Discovery. But if you scroll down on this page, we have some international numbers. But right here is the, there it is, the 3D Secure Test Card Numbers and Tokens. So we're gonna test it with one of these numbers right here. So I'm gonna copy this one right here into my clipboard. And here I am on a WordPress website. This has WooCommerce and the latest version of the payment gateway for Stripe. And as a matter of fact, if you were to look at that, and I came here to look at it and I clicked on development, they actually added compatibility for this months ago. So this is why I always recommend not using plugin software, important stuff from just random developers that might not have the resources to be agile when there's forced changes like this. So uh, that's not the case here. So let's see, where is it? It was 4.2, here it is. Uh, so 4.2, this happened uh, almost two months ago. They added support for strong customer authentication, SCA. Okay, so let's just see what that's gonna be like if you're using WooCommerce. So here I am, I'm using CartFlows, of course. It's my software, it allows you to make sales funnels on your WordPress website with order bumps and upsells, all kinds of good stuff like that. So here's my sales funnel, so I'm gonna click on View. So here's the landing page. I'll click on Get the eBook, and it's gonna take us to our custom checkout page and this is all using WooCommerce so this is all filled out uh, but we scroll down here and this is for Stripe so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna put my uh, credit card number in I'll put whatever in here oops I should put a date in the future and I'll put anything in there for the three-digit code okay so here it is it's all filled out I'm gonna click on place order and you're actually gonna see a a really cool feature we have in card flows where it asks them if they want this additional offer in this case uh, it's an audio version of this ebook so I'm gonna click on yes add it to order that's an upsell that will work with any payment gateway okay so this is what's gonna happen you noticed this pop-up shows up now it's obviously gonna be one for the purchaser in the EU then they'll have to do one of those three ways of verifying uh, but this is what the experience is gonna be like so uh, they're gonna get this pop up it's gonna appear over your checkout page so I'm gonna go ahead and click on complete and the order is going to go through and it's gonna send me to my custom thank you page right here and that's all that there is to it using this new strong customer authentication so here's the scary thing if you're using something some plugin or whatever to sell on your website and they haven't put these changes in effect or if you're using a random payment gateway and they haven't quite modified it yet to work with SCA or if you're not keeping things on your website updated to have the version that supports this SCA you can run into some serious problems today I was on Facebook I reached out to Justin at learn dash and LearnDash takes PayPal payments and Stripe payments directly. And I said, hey, what are you guys doing for SCA? He said, oh, we're already done with it. We're gonna release it here in a couple days. But that's because LearnDash is a, an established company. They have a whole staff of people. If there's an urgent change that needs to be made, they're able to do it. They have the resources to do it. Same thing with card flows. We're all over this SCA new requirement. So what you want to do if you have any e-commerce websites or whatever gateways you use or tools to sell or any platform it's not a wordpress thing it's not a stripe thing is everybody that takes credit cards has to comply with these new sca rules or the buyer's just going to get this auto decline so you're going to have to sit down and audit everything you're going to have to see what gateways do you use and see if they're sca compliant already and see if there's a way to test it so what tools you use to sell things like learn dash or other tools like that you need to check with them and see if they're sca compliant because some of these little small operations they, they're, they're not this isn't even on their radar uh sadly uh, but some of your SaaS platforms guarantee they're all over it so your Shopify is going to be fine uh, right out the bat and all the various other ones they're going to be all over SCA but I just don't want you to be uh, uh, out and not have this on your radar and then you're losing sales left and right 
Also, if you are an agency owner and you have clients, you need to know for your clients. But if you have clients that aren't on a monthly maintenance plan where you're going to just take care of this for them, this is a great opportunity to send an email about SCA and that they need an SCA audit on their e-commerce. And that's something that they can pay you to do to log in, audit everything, make sure it's all SCA compliant. Also, if you're emailing them to let them know about this SCA and it's not already on their radar, you're that rock star now that's keeping them informed. So anyways, this is SCA. Just get on top of it. It's all going to be fine. Um, it adds a little bit of friction, which kind of stinks to the checkout process. For cart flows, we capture the payment information and we do one-click upsells. That will actually still work after the buyer has done that one-time verification, whether it be a password, a physical phone through a prompt, or their fingerprint, it's gonna all be okay at that point. So uh, anyways, that's all that I have for you in this video. Share it out if you're in some online communities. This is important information that people need to be on top of. So share this out. And other than that, if you have any questions, ask down below. Subscribe, notification bell, it's important for stuff like this. Hey, I enjoyed making this video for you and I can't wait to see you in the next one.